Hi guys, today's video is about SP and maintaining contact, creating that contact communication and verbal commitment that you want from them, getting the messages that you want to receive and breaking that negative cycle of no contact. So this could be someone you've been in a relationship with. It could be a new person that, like I said, in, well, like it says in the title um, about being ignored. So by ignored, I mean, I get, and I guess when you guys mention ignored as well, it's referencing the fact that they're not communicating with you, right? So it's not so much there's no contact, it's just like you feel like they're not prioritizing communicating with you basically, or not replying to messages. It can be summarized into a number of different um, outcomes and different parts of the old story that you just don't want. So today I'm gonna to talk about why this might be happening, why you personally assume and obviously it comes from slightly individual situations because it's up to you, but generally why you as an individual who is manifesting an SP might feel ignored by your SP. So I'm gonna get into that in today's video. Please do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you enjoy this topic. If you'd like me to make more content on SP, the SP subject matter, um, more advice for you guys, then yeah, please do so to let me know and it would mean a lot to me. I do offer coaching if you'd like to get extra help. If you feel like you're really struggling manifesting your SP and you need um, you know, coaching guidance and you'd like more support from me personally, I do offer those services. Everything that I offer is linked, not linked, but listed below on my Instagram, on my Instagram page, LOA Coaching, which is linked below in the description box. You can click through or go to LOA Coaching on the app as well. Um, in the highlights, I have everything listed, all my pricing information, exactly what I offer, how to contact me, everything like that. So if you would like that extra help, do get in touch. A few things will probably have been popped on screen as well to give you an idea. And yeah, get in touch with me if you're interested. Now let's start the video. First thing I want to remind you guys of, I guess this will be my first point of the video, but it's just a piece of advice and I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say warning, but um, yeah, just something to remember because I don't want you guys to spiral or fixate on this. As soon as you finish this video, this is the last time I want you to think about being ignored, thinking that you're not getting what you want from your SP. Just listen to my advice here and see if it applies to you, see if you're doing all the things um, that I mention. But beyond that, I don't want you to go on thinking that you're being ignored, continuing that assumption, thinking it. So I don't want you to think to yourself or write in the comments, well, my SP is ignoring my messages, but I know I'm gonna manifest it more. Well, she's not, she's ignoring me and she's not messaging me back, but I'm sure she, you know, she'll accept my proposal because I'm manifesting it. That is still, perpetuating the idea that you're being ignored. It doesn't matter if how positive the next part of the statement is. If any part of your statement includes that you are being ignored, that you're in no contact, that's the wrong approach. That's just going to continue the cycle and it's part of the issue. So one reason why your SP might be ignoring you, and this may be simply part of the conforming process for them, is that they still need time to conform. You're doing it correctly, you're persisting, it is working physically, mentally, you know, in the 3D, 4D, 5D, all of it is working and being conformed. Your SP is conforming. They just need extra time to change fully, to change even more. Maybe currently emotionally they're changing, maybe they're starting to recognize their feelings for you, or maybe they're starting to realize that they've reached that next step of your relationship in terms of their emotions. And then maybe it'll be mentally, and then verbally to their friends and family, and then verbally to you. So it's sometimes things just need a little more time, and you guys can be a little bit impatient, we can all be impatient, but this is a pattern I notice when you don't see the 3D change, Sometimes you guys, some, some of my clients as well, and it's totally normal because I've been there as well, but you guys freak out and there's no need to. You just, it's all about trust. This is why manifesting is difficult for us as humans because it takes blind trust and blind faith. It's not something you can see. There's no color, there's no sign, there's no, you know, official letter coming to you saying your SP is conforming, um, you know, nothing physical, as evidence will come other than from your SP directly, right? So you need to trust in yourself and the manifesting process and know that sometimes it just takes that little extra time, maybe just a couple of hours, maybe a couple of extra weeks, but you just need to persist until it shows up. So for all you know, tomorrow morning, your SP will wake up fully inspired to reach out to you 
um, to ask you on that date, to send you whatever communication it is that you are hoping for and waiting for, although you shouldn't really be mentally waiting, but you know what I mean. So it may come at any moment and sometimes they just need a little extra time. So don't hold on to that assumption that they are ignoring you. Now here is one reason of something you may be doing and not realizing is that you are too focused on the 3D reality. And I've written down here too focused on the old story as well. So if you're still kind of what's the word, I guess ruminating and overthinking about the old story and wondering, oh gosh, but they won't text me because the last thing they said to me was this. And then when we were here, I remember them doing this and they probably won't message me. If you try and replay the old story, old memories, anything negative, obviously positive things do it all day long, but anything negative, you're just perpetuating that. You're reminding it, your subconscious mind of it and saying, hey, remember, you know that belief and assumption you have about SP? Here's another example of it being true. And you're throwing that into your mind and it's just continuing that cycle. And then again, you'll ask, why is it not here? Why are they ignoring me? And you're just going in a negative spiral. If you're looking at the 3D and using that as proof and evidence and taking that as fact, if you're letting worries just sit in your mind, like I said, for based on the old story, any bad memories that come up or anything you try and think, of, you know, to analyze the 3D, never analyze the 3D unless it's positive. Don't bother even making any assumptions based on it. But if you're letting those worries just sit in your mind, you're not flipping them, you're not changing it around, you're not going back to looping your affirmations, for example, that's not the right approach. You need to target those worries and just focus your mind on the new story as much as possible. So in this case, it would be about getting communication, then prioritizing you, then wanting to spend as much of their free time with you as they possibly can, that type of concept. So as I touched upon in the first point about needing a little more time, it's definitely the case and that there's some type of movement, but it may be that they are starting to conform internally. Sometimes you don't get um, physical movement, sometimes it doesn't happen in steps, sometimes you just get your entire manifestation in one. So it may be that your SP is conforming internally and it's not visible to anyone other than them yet, or perhaps they've had conversations with friends and family in their life. You know, it, obviously a lot of the time it's not people you know mutually, so you would have no clue. You probably, you know, wouldn't, as part of your unfolding process, have them contact you and say, hey, you know, your SP has been talking to me about you. That often doesn't happen. Um, and even if you do have mutual contacts, sometimes it's just them emotionally, mentally, internally for themselves deciding and realizing and being inspired. So don't attach negative assumptions to it because if you start assuming negative things and putting labels like I'm ignored by SP, you're creating and perpetuating the assumption that you already have. So you're continuing that belief you know, you're doing 30 minutes of your affirmations, but then you're saying, well, they're ignoring me. And the next morning you check your phone and you realize they haven't texted again. You say, oh, why, why are they still ignoring me? Well, you, you keep reaffirming what's already true in your mind. So how can it accept the new version if you keep repeating the old version? So make sure you're not slowing down the progress that you've already initiated because you've been saturating your mind. So you want to stay on track and only, well, as much as you can throughout the day, only think positive thoughts. So don't slow down your progress by repeating those old worries. Also another assumption you could make and something that I'm telling you guys as a very actual, logical, rational, realistic fact, and this is for anyone, wh whether or not you're being treated um, the way you want or with respect by the person you like, in this case your SP that you're manifesting, they may still have those feelings of love and desire for you and they may actually be building up the courage or they may be thinking, right, I need to start treating him or her better, I need to start, start treating this person you know, better, I actually feel bad that I ignored their message last week and I'm going to reach out to them today with something nice and or, or apologize. And they could be building up the courage to message you right now. They could be building up the courage to tell you something you really want to hear and break that, you know, cycle of no contact. But it's down to you. It's down to your assumptions. It's down to the way you, you think throughout the day. One extra point is that the old story may be finishing up with playing out in your 3D reality. So it may be coming to the end of its cycle and it's just got a couple more days of the old story being shown in the 3D before it conforms to the assumptions you've created in your subconscious. You've saturated your mind so much to the point that you're starting to believe your affirmations and the 3D reality is responding. 
because those are your repetitive dominant thoughts. So the 3D will start to reflect it. Maybe you only have a couple of days left of the old story. So don't give up, just keep persisting and don't give in to that old story. And if you're consciously manifesting, then the conforming process is always happening. So another obvious point that kind of ties into everything I've said because it's down to your assumptions, as I always say, um, is that you assume they're, neg they're ignoring you. So they are ignoring you because you assume so. So it really always comes down to you. It's not that they decided they don't like you or never want you. They can't do that because we don't have free will in other people's realities. In your reality, they don't have the free will to decide, actually, I don't, I don't want to be with her. I don't want to be with him. They can't do that. So just persist because then they will conform and start to really, really feel that's what they want, which of course ties into communication. You can't have um, someone pursuing you and falling in love with you without messaging you, asking you on dates, whatever the case may be. So just put more effort into thinking positively and looping your affirmations. Anything that aligns with what it is you want and what it is you're manifesting, put that extra effort in because you can see yourself that you have this negative assumption of feeling ignored. So the more work you put into opposing that, the more it becomes true. So I hope this video was beneficial for you guys. I had a full face of makeup today. I'm gonna to go out later. So I thought I'd treat you to actually looking really put together in this video, but I hope it was useful. And if it was, then please do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye.